Hi guys. TJ, sweetie, put your pants on, please. We gotta go. Thank you. We are back from Dominican. Finally back home in Chicago. I'm so happy to be back. Thank you guys for all your warm messages for congratulating us on our wedding. Our wedding was beautiful. I did receive a few messages on Instagram uh, with questions. By the way, make sure you follow me on Instagram and stay in touch. We have a big family and the family is growing every day. We're definitely friends. We share the same ideas, the same values. So I really appreciate you guys. And make sure you subscribe here to stay connected. In regards to those messages that I've received about our wedding, about destination weddings in general, I thought I'm going to put together my top five tips for destination weddings because I wish somebody did that for me about a year ago because I made so many mistakes and I really hope you girls can avoid that because destination weddings can be difficult. But let me tell you, it is possible to plan a wedding in less than a month for less than 10 grand and you can have a very beautiful wedding. Less than a month, less than 10 grand. Ready? Let's go. So a lot of you were thinking that we are doing a wedding at an all-inclusive resort which originally yes we were planning on doing that but after going back and forth and trying to plan a wedding with a resort i did realize that it's a total nightmare so my tip number one to you do not and i mean do not get married at an all-inclusive resort just like you i thought getting married at an all-inclusive resort can be a very economical way of doing it and kind of cool my guests will enjoy the resort and we won't have to spend a lot of money to do the wedding but it's actually the complete opposite the truth is that the menu and the services at an all-inclusive at most all-inclusive resorts are not the greatest mediocre is a nice way of putting it but the prices are like if you were to do a wedding at a Richard Branson's private island or something. Prices are through the roof. Let me tell you, our photography package was $5,000, $5,900 for, uh, I think, 10 pictures of ceremony only and ceremony is 30 minutes so 30 minutes five thousand dollars for photography only another thing that really killed me is that i wasn't really getting the wedding i wanted i was settling down on what the hotel had to offer for instance my hotel didn't even work with fresh flowers all they had is silk old previously used for pretty much every single wedding flowers and I definitely didn't want that so when I said let's try and upgrade and let's try and get the real fresh flowers our bill was a nine thousand dollars for fresh flowers for the ceremony only flowers are crazy expensive especially when you go to tropical countries so at the end of the day I was really happy that I realized that this whole all-inclusive resort a wedding won't work for me and I was able to cancel the wedding one month before my wedding date. I think I'm crazy, but I think it was for the best because I was able to find a fantastic wedding planner. So my tip number two is to find a good wedding planner. I know a lot of times girls think that, oh, I'm just gonna plan it all together. How hard can it be? My, me and my mom or me and my sister, me and my friend, we can do it all together. But no, let me tell you, wedding planners are worth it if you hire a good one. I found mine, as crazy as it sounds, but I'm a millennial like that, on Instagram. I went through her account, I looked at what she was doing, I looked at how she was doing, what reviews she had, what she had to say. But when I started talking to her, I feel like we kind of clicked and she 
felt me 100%. She knew exactly what I wanted. She was able to put together the feel of the wedding that I really wanted, that kind of natural wedding by the beach with the ocean and the wood and the very earthy greeneries on the tables. We also added a little glamorous, sparkly rose gold tablecloth, rose gold charges. I had rose gold Jimmy Choo shoes. It was very, very, very well put together and I really liked it. You will have enough of stress on your wedding day, so let the wedding planner help you out. Besides, she or he as a wedding planner should know the, every single detail of the wedding because they've done so many, they, they've seen it all. For instance, I really wanted to curl my hair and just leave them curly hanging. She said, honey, first of all, it's gonna be hot in Dominican Republic, four o'clock in the afternoon. You're gonna hate yourself. So let's just put your hair up. Second of all, she said, when you're gonna be on the beach, the wind will just blow your curls right out of your hair. And yes, she was right. I did put my hair up. It actually looked very pretty and I'm really happy she helped me with that because I definitely would have hated myself. By the way, I'm gonna link her Instagram profile in the description box below. If you are planning on getting married in the Dominican Republic, make sure you let her know, you get in touch with her. She's so responsive, she's the best. I'm like in love with her. She didn't pay me anything to say that. She didn't even ask me. I, I'm seriously impressed with her and I really um, think you will be too. One thing that kind of hurt me on my wedding day is that not a lot of people were able to show up. So my tip number three, think about your guests. Do not go out of your way to book a very expensive five-star luxurious uh, resort unless all your friends and family are just bawling like that. Uh, make sure you go with something moderate. I suggest if you go to Dominican Republic or Jamaica or Mexico, pick a newer hotel. Yes, newer hotel. Five years old max. Give your guests plenty of notice. Give your guests and friends and family time to decide whether they can make it or not to your wedding and to also let you know. For instance, about 70% of people we invited unfortunately didn't make it to the wedding, mostly because it's a very expensive trip from Russia to Dominican Republic. From Moscow, it's 13 hours flight and it's kind of expensive. This one is very important and this one is gonna save you a lot of money. No matter where you go for your destination wedding, make sure you incorporate local everything local drinks, local um, decorations, local design. For instance, some of my guests wanted fish for their dinner and we are very used to eating salmon here in the US when in Dominican Republic salmon is very expensive because they have to ship it from elsewhere. So one, it's very expensive, two, it's not fresh at all. So my wedding planner suggested to do mahi-mahi instead. It was very fresh, it was delicious, I'm glad we did that. And we saved a couple of bucks. Or with alcohol, for instance, Dominican Republic has a very tasty and very interesting rum-based drink that's called Mama Juana. They call it Dominican Viagra. Um, it's white rum, it's red wine and honey. It tastes delicious. You can put it in a shot or you can put it in a wine glass. It looks beautiful. It's very inexpensive because they make it there and it's literally everywhere. You don't have to go out of your way to find it. So we had that in our menu as well as other drinks, but a lot of guests really liked it. And again, we saved a couple of dollars. Last example, I promise, a friend of mine got married in Greece and she incorporated olives and grapes in her wedding decor. It was so different, it was so gorgeous, it was very inexpensive because olives literally everywhere in Greece, so it was readily available for her. So no matter where you're going, try to incorporate that local, local beauty. Trust me, you're gonna be happy. So that's it, these are my five tips for now. I don't want to overwhelm you. I know you have a lot of questions. I am here for you. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Reach out to me, DM me on Instagram, email me or comment below. Let's stay connected.
Until next time, guys, I gotta go buy TJ a toy because he's been a very good boy. And I think Tim is home, so I gotta go. Bye-bye.